Hello, my wonderful students. We are going to go start lesson 2.4 in our math book, Adding Greater Numbers. This time, we are not going to only add three-digit numbers. We are going to add more than three-digit numbers. And we are going to go to the same rule, which is we are going to add the ones, which we are always going to start with, the ones, the tens, and then the hundreds. So let us get started. Over here, you have addition with regrouping. When we say regrouping, that means if I have my number more than a one-digit number, I need to carry the next number to the number beside it. We will have examples. We will work together and see how can we add greater numbers. Now, again, don't forget grade four. We are older students, so we tend to learn how to add bigger numbers. Let's get started. Okay, we have adding whole numbers. So how did they add it? They, had, they added the following number, 61,487 uh, 61, plus 9,547. Now to add whole numbers, we need to line up the numbers correctly. If my grade four students, we do not add our numbers correctly, our answer will be incorrect. So we need to make sure our numbers are put in the one side where it should be, in the ten side where they should be, in the hundred side where they should be, and in the thousand and so on if there is more numbers. Next, what do we do? We always start in the one side. What number do we have in the one side? Fantastic job, which is seven plus seven, which equals to fourteen. What do I do? I put the four down and I need to carry the number one. That is where the regrouping goes on. Now, when I put the number one, I have one plus eight plus four, which equals to fantastic job, which equals to 13. You put the three down and you put the one up. We have the four, we have the plus five, and we have plus one, which equals to 10. Then again, we put the zero down, we put the one up, and then we go on. 1 plus 9, which equals to 1, and then you have 6 plus 1, which equals to 7. Now again, 4a. As I repeat and I tell you guys, please make sure that you always put the 1s in the 1 side, the 10s in the 10 side, 100s in the 100 side, and the 1,000 in the 1,000 sides. Because if we do not do that, we will not have our correct answer. If there is regrouping, you always make sure that you, you put the number, the last one, down and you carry the, the, the first digit number above. Now, over here they had a number which was 546 plus 85. Take a minute to take out your math orange copybook. Are we ready? Let's get started. We have the 546 plus 85. Now again, where do we start? As Ms. Diana said, we always start in the one side. Let's get started. We have the one side, which is 6 plus 5. 6 plus 5, which equals to 11. 6 plus 5 equals to 11. So as we said again, when we have a number where the digit is more than two numbers, we make sure we put the first number up and then you put the second number down. So you have the number one the up and the number one down as well. Then you add up 1 plus 4 plus 8, and then you have the number 5. Take a minute to solve 546 plus 85 in your orange copybook and 289 plus 76 in your copybook as well. Okay, let's get started to the next slide. We have over here the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, and we have over here the ten thousands. How they added four plus three, zero plus one, two plus one, nine plus three, and five plus two to get the following number. Answer. Make sure that you open up your orange copybook and you solve those two problems, which is 34,871 plus 12,965. The next number, which is 786,000 786, 
435 plus 8,429. As we said, we always start in the one side in order for us to solve our numbers. And this is an example of how to add it. And I hope that you understood the lesson very well. And thank you a lot for listening.